Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I want to have a look at Phantom. But before I do, I first want to thank today's sponsor, Fairdesk. Fairdesk is an exchange where you can go to trade your crypto at super low fees. Fairdesk also allows for copy trading, so by clicking the link in the description, you can sign up and follow my trades live. But hurry because there's only 50 people that can follow my trades live. And with no KYC required, there really is no reason not to head over there now and sign up using the link in the description. It's super easy. You literally just make an account and boom, deposit some crypto, you're trading. So thanks again to Fairdesk and back to the video. Now in this video, I want to have a look at Phantom on its logarithmic chart. So we're still on Phantom USD, but basically what we've changed here is on the Y axis on the right side where price is usually and still is, the price is still here. Um, usually on a normal chart, each grid will represent a static price change. So it might be plus 10 cents for each grid here, you know, and it goes up linearly price-wise. But with a logarithmic um, chart, we basically go up linearly percentage-wise. So each grid might go up 2% if you get me. Instead of it going up 2 cents, it goes up 2%. Um, and of course, you know, if you keep adding 2% of something as it goes up, the amount price wise is going to increase. So instead, usually it goes 5, 10, 15, 20 cents. It might go 5 cents, 11 cents, 17 cents, 20 cents, uh, 28 cents, 36 cents, 50 cents, so on like that. And you'll see that that is kind of more or less what's happening, but um, to a much more exponential rate. Um, and this is kind of useful when you want to look at something from a zoomed out perspective, perspective, which is what I want to do in this video, because um, I did notice that Phantom was painting a pretty bearish head and shoulders pattern. And again, if head and shoulders is something that's throwing you off a little bit, it's a, a common term used to describe, well, this really, these three, these six lines that I've drawn here. Uh, when you have an original, well, yeah, when you have a initial sort of shoulder here, we get a wick and a drop down to a previous level, and then we climb up higher mm -hmm. than the original wick, a higher high, and then go down to this original level here, and then we put in a smaller high, a lower high, and then eventually return again down to this level. And what this basically shows is that what it often predicts is that there's poor price performance ahead. Um, and this does seem to line up with Phantom, um, considering we are still in a bear market and Bitcoin is still taking dominance away from the altcoin market. And even though prices can go up during this, it oftentimes leads to prices going down. And I do think we've got a secondary scare coming in for Bitcoin, which um, you know will translate into the altcoin suffering as well. Um, but that's another video. So assuming that this is correct and that we do have more poor price action for Phantom, I drew these three sort of levels um, that I think we could revisit. And of course, try to represent color as less likely, but you know, it is the crypto space. Anything can happen really. And take everything I say with a pinch of salt, you know, anything can happen here. And while I'm trying to make the most realistic predictions based on previous price performance and other factors that we've seen in other markets and trying to copy and paste them here in a sense to see if we can get any similarities um, anything can still happen we could see you know technically we could see phantom return to four dollars or three dollars fifty cent um, tomorrow uh, you know and I, I know it's unlikely very unlikely but it's still possible so always 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 um, take things with a pinch of salt Anyway, this first resistance that I drew is, of course, at this sort of uh, shoulder level. So where the price has continually returned to um, over time. Uh, and, you know, I do think personally we will retest this level. I, I, I would say al almost confidently that we will. Uh, this would be the one that I'd be most sure over. Uh, so again, I mean, you know, it'd still be at this 14 cent level. This would still be like a 25% drop for Phantom. But, you know, in the altcoin space, that's not too far-fetched. I mean, we've seen much worse. 
and before 2024 or even just after 2024, I can see this happening. I mean, if we even keep following this sort of general line, we'll get there before 2024. So I would say we'll definitely come back down to this 14 cent level for Phantom. However, this next one is where I sort of begin to go, hmm, maybe not. Um, and that's at this sort of, well, starting at this six, seven cent level. Um, it's where we originally wicked up before the bull run. Um, it was one of Phantom's highs before 2021 when it originally blew up. Um, and it just sort of put in kind of like a, a waypoint for where Phantom um, could have gone during that year of 2020. And we also sort of blew past it here on our way up to this head and shoulders. Now, I do want to say as well, sorry, uh, with a head and shoulders pattern, you don't have to see a similar sell-off to the price pump that we had here. So don't expect a big red line down this way, like we had a big green one here. Oftentimes, they sort of don't go down as much as they go up. But of course, you know, anything can happen. This yellow area is sort of where I would be. Maybe we'll come down to this, bounce off it, and then go into our bull run, depending on how things line up. I mean, our bull run is scheduled to be 2025, but, you know, our lows could be in in 2024. And, well, I think they will be in in 2024, um, or we'll definitely come close, we'll revisit them in 2024. I mean, a lot of altcoins have already bottomed this cycle. Uh, so again, we could see Phantom put in lower lows. I could see us definitely coming down to this level. I think we will go below this level, basically, is what I'm saying. I think we will come down to at least 10 cents. Um, whether we go below that or not, I'm not too sure. Again, that's, you know, a 40% drop from where we currently are. Which, again, I know isn't really too much, but at the same time, it is quite a lot, considering the time frame that we have where, you know, you'd be kind of expecting things to be recovering by May. Bottoms will be in by May, I would say, for all coins. Maybe not on their Bitcoin pairs, but on their dollar pairs. I think their bottoms would be in. Um... And I, 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 I struggle to see us coming down to this red level, which is three cents. Ultimately, I, I don't think it will come down here because if it does and Phantom returns to its all time high of three dollars of, you know, 70 cents, 60 cents, whatever, you're looking at one, over 100 X. And for me, I don't see Phantom being able to provide a hundred a 100 X. It's too much of a solid coin. And usually these well established solid coins will not 100x once they're established. Phantom did extremely well in the last bull run because it wasn't established, but it had a, it was a brilliant project. It's well established, had a brilliant developer, like, you know, brilliant developers working on it. I can't remember who the leader was at the time, um, but he, he was a brilliant guy, very well established. He worked on Cardano, I'm pretty sure. I can't quite remember. Or Ethereum, sorry. He co-founded something like that, either Cardano or Ethereum, and then left to do Phantom himself. Um, and, you know, the project obviously blew up because it had a great developer base, uh, great fundamentals, great tokenomics, um, and it did well. Now that people are aware of Phantom, I don't think it's able to do this. So maybe at a 10 cents, we could see something like a 30x, and I think that's more reasonable. But a, a, a 100x, over a 100x, I don't see happening personally. So I don't think we will come down to this three cent level. And if we do, by God, buy some up. Not financial advice, but, you know, <laughs> even if Phantom returns to half its all time high of like, you know, $1.50, you're still at a 50x there, which is crazy. But yeah. Anyway, I want to also show you the Bitcoin pair, Phantom on its Bitcoin pair. Now I've drawn this line here. This is not a logarithmic scale, by the way. So this is an actual, just a normal chart. Uh, we will move it to logarithmic in a minute, though. And we can see I've drawn this line that Phantom has sort of... It's dictated whether Phantom has been in a bull run or a bear run, ultimately, most of the time. Uh, of course, you know, I consider here onwards a bear run. In fact, I would consider <laughs> here on uh, a, a bear run, really, after February of 2022. Uh, but, you know it's kind of a good indicator. It's shown sort of historic levels. And we can see we originally broke above it in February of 2021 when things were kicking off, sort of around January, February time. Of course, we didn't go back below it. 
and we haven't, but we are getting very close to it at the moment. Now, Phantom has been around for five years-ish. It came, it was initially launched in November of 2018, and we are now currently in September of 2023. So it's coming up to five years in a couple of months. Phantom has been above this line for about two years, six, six months, six, seven months, whatever. And it's been below this line about two years, three months. So we can see that for about 50%, just to be nice and even with the numbers, about 50% of Phantom's time on its Bitcoin pair has been spent below this line and 50% above. Now, if we say that, say, Phantom's cycle, its initial cycle, like Bitcoin, how we look at its bull runs, say we say Phantom, Phantom's cycle started in 2021, January of 2021, and we have our bull run, and then we go into our bear run. Could you imagine, well, I think it'd be pretty easy, but if you go 50% here, and we've done 50%, and you take, you, you cop, wait, sorry, I'm stuttering a bit here. If you copy this bit here from its initial price, okay, you cut it. So you copy it here, and you move it along, and you slap it on the end here, okay? We can see that Phantom, now it doesn't necessarily have to happen, but if we say that the cycle started in 2021, bang on 2021, have our bull run, a drop down below, well below, you know, close to our line by the mid 2022, we have a little um, resurgence on its Bitcoin pair, sure, um, early 2023, and then we finally come down after about two years and six, seven months, give or take, two years, six, seven months, we come back down just in time to cross over this line here and follow this sort of a pattern and stay below it for the next, you know, two years, give or take, where Bitcoin has its halving in 2024, which brings all alts down below as we're much lower level on its Bitcoin pair. And Bitcoin leads the way for the whole of 2024, maybe. So we have a year here up until 2025, a year and a bit. We see maybe alts do well, but still not great on their Bitcoin pairs until mid 2025, which is about two years then. And then Phantom does well and it explodes on its Bitcoin pair, explodes on its USD pair and puts in a, you know, a 20, 30 X. Does that seem reasonable to you where we followed a similar sort of pattern? Now, it doesn't have to play out again like this, but it also needs to sort of fit into this four year cycle that Bitcoin um, dictates the rest of the market that we're currently in or believed to be in. And Phantom's currently running a five year. So maybe it has to lose a year down here below this line. So maybe it only spends a year, spends the whole of 2024 and the rest of this year below this line and 2025 comes back above. I can see that being pretty reasonable personally. And that way you lose the year and you fit into the four year cycle instead of Phantom having it, doing its own thing and having a five year cycle. I think that makes a lot more sense. However, there is a case to be made against this. If we look in much closer at Phantom, we can see that since about April, it's been sorry, excuse me, it's been in a bit of a downward trend, you know, since about here. Now, this is a bit, bit dodgy, but you know, you can see that it's been in a downward trend for a pretty long time. And if we go here, I'll try line this up as well as possible. But, you know, please forgive me for my uh, not great preparation. We can see that Phantom has been following a little bit of a downtrend with its wicks. I know this is very rough, but I did draw this line before the video and it lined up much better than it looks now. But we've basically been following this all the way down until we broke out of it. And we've currently sort of gone sideways for these last few weeks, basically. Uh, um, and we're getting very close to this line. Now, there is a chance that this becomes a support for Phantom and we see instead of a drop below, sorry, we see a explosion up, a bounce off this support. And maybe we come back up to 
you know, somewhere like here. Maybe we find resistance at this level. Who knows? Uh, so there is a case for both, where we've broken this downward trend and we're sitting on this line now, instead of actively going down below it like this trend would have dictated that we did a long time ago, over a month ago. So really it can go both ways. But in my opinion, I think Phantom is going down on its USD pair. I, w I, I would be next to sure on this, uh, as, as sure as I can be with you know the historical information and the technical analysis with the head and shoulders. Uh, on its Bitcoin pair, usually Bitcoin leads the way with an altcoin's price. If it's going down on its USD, it's also most likely going down on its Bitcoin. And during a bear market, nine, 99 altcoins out of 100 will be going down on their Bitcoin pair for 90% of the bear market. Maybe this is where we get a little reversal. Again, this is sort of coming into crunch time. We're in a dicey area where towards the end of 2023, we could see a little revival and the altcoins might not be continuously getting wrecked like they have been for, you know, since 2021. Maybe we see a little reversal. I, I don't know. But I personally would say if it's going down on its USD and we're still in a bear market, I would say it's going down on its Bitcoin pair as well. But that's just my opinion. Going back to its uh, dollar amount, and we'll move off this logarithmic uh, chart. You can see it still paints a similar picture, but uh, it doesn't look as accurate. If we move into the daily, we can see that Phantom is currently at this 18 cents level. If I wanted to give you a chart, sorry, not a chart, a buy option, I would say it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But I would ultimately, I think we'll have a little rally here. We might come up to this 19 cent level. We might test it. You could either put a market buy or a limit order at, say, 1880. And I would put your sell at... Mm, I would put your sell. I I would put your sell at below seventeen, but I think to be honest with you, if you break below seventeen here, we're gonna go way lower than seventeen. So you could put your your sell at seventeen sixty, seventeen six, and take a six point five percent profit. Basically, that would be what I would do personally. Um, and I will do if you follow my trades on Fairdesk, um, which you can see live if you go sign up with the link in the description, which also helps the channel out hugely. Again, you can deposit crypto straight onto the site. There's no KYC, so you can get trading straight away. But if you do KYC, they'll give you a few USD uh, just to help you trade along and, you know, pay for some fees or whatever. Or you can leverage up to like 100 with your one USD and try and make... <laughs> try and make <laughs> Uh, a bit of money that way but i would not recommend that anyway thanks very much for watching guys a bit of a different video so hopefully you like it if you do like it please subscribe and like leave a comment down below if you're holding phantom if you're selling if you're buying let me know thanks so much guys take care and peace